planning a visit to Coimbra between Porto and Lisbon? Then you're going to love this video. Hi, this is Gwen with Core Travel, and I've got 15 things to know before you go to Coimbra, Portugal. So let's go ahead and dive into this video and get you to Coimbra. Why go to Coimbra? Portugal's fourth largest city and its former capital, Coimbra is currently the largest city of Portugal's central region. Located on the Mandega River, the preserved medieval old town offers beautiful Romanesque and Gothic style cathedrals and convents, old fort arches, botanical gardens and plazas. Coimbra's most notable attraction, the University of Coimbra, Alta and Sofia, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site built on the grounds of the former royal palace of Alcalbuca, giving nod to Coimbra's Portuguese history, wealth, influence, and education. Combined with pedestrian streets full of colorful Portuguese shops and restaurants and the sound of Fado music, Coimbra is definitely worth the stop on way from Porto to Lisbon, or vice versa, even if just for a day. Number two, the best time to go. As always, the best time to visit depends on time of year and holidays and events because they affect the number of tourists and travel costs. Coimbra's temperatures average from the low 40s to low 80s Fahrenheit year-round. Peak season months are June through August, with the longest days, hottest and most humid months, the lowest accommodation availability, the highest amount of tourists, and travel prices. Low season months are November through February, with the shortest days, coldest and rainiest months, highest accommodation availability, and lowest amount of tourists and travel costs. The best time to visit Coimbra is in the shoulder season from the months of March through May, September and October. When the daylight hours are longer than the low season with warmer weather and some rain, to enjoy the Coimbra outdoors and offer more accommodation availability, fewer tourists and better travel costs than peak season. Always check Coimbra's year-round festivals and holidays well in advance. As for accommodation availability and prices, when planning your Coimbra itinerary. Number three, getting to Coimbra. The closest large airport to Coimbra is Francisco Sá Canero Airport in Porto. So the best ways to get to Coimbra are by train or bus, which are also convenient, inexpensive, and eco-friendly ways to travel Portugal. Multiple daily Rede de Expressos buses arrive at the Rua do Pradao bus station in Coimbra. From the Porto Campanha station, Buses leave daily every half hour to hour and arrive in less than an hour and a half. Buses leave the Lisbon Oriente station, but they may not leave daily, and the ride takes about two hours and 20 minutes. From the Coimbra bus station, you can walk, catch a taxi or Uber, or walk to the Coimbra B station and ride into the Coimbra A train station at the base of the city center. Trains to Coimbra, however, are faster and more plentiful than the bus, and the preferred method to get to Coimbra. Direct CP trains leave Porto and Lisbon daily to the Coimbra B station, making a day trip to Coimbra easy. Trains depart Porto's Villanova de Gaia station, but travel times to Coimbra vary by train. The Alfa Pendular arrives Coimbra in just over an hour, the IC train in an hour and 15 minutes, and the regional train takes just under two hours. Trains depart from Lisbon's Oriente station hourly and take approximately an hour and a half to two hours, depending on time of day. Your train ticket to Coimbra includes the transfer fare from the Coimbra B to the Coimbra A station. Just switch platforms and you'll be at the city center in minutes. Highway A1 links Coimbra to Lisbon in the south, two hours away, and Porto to the north, about an hour and 20 minutes away. But why drive when the train and bus are so quick and inexpensive? Plus, you'll want to be able to kick back and enjoy the Portugal countryside. I do not recommend driving to Coimbra. But if you must drive, however, consult with your hotel or other accommodation on parking availability. Or you can find free parking at the Coimbra B Station, the Chapalinho City Park parking lot, or paid parking at the Parque Verde do Mondego City Park parking lot. Number four, getting around Coimbra. The Coimbra City Center is best seen on foot, but just keep in mind that the old town terrain can be steep. To avoid walking the inclines, you can ride an electric tuk-tuk. The base of the city center and west of the river, however, is fairly flat, so you may wish to rent a bike, e-bike, or electric scooter, or take a bike, e-bike, or kayaking tour, or a river cruise. There is no metro or tram service in Coimbra, so another option to explore outside the city is by the public bus. To learn more about Coimbra, its university, food, 
culture, history, and the region. Consider a historic food or drink walking tour in and around Coimbra and meet other travelers as well. Number five, safety tips. Coimbra's crime rate is considered very low and safe to walk alone during the day or night. I did not feel unsafe in Coimbra at either time walking from my hotel to the city center as a solo female traveler. As a tourist, just be streetwise, keep your belongings securely on you if it's crowded or touristy, and make sure you have no open bags or pockets and don't carry any valuables in your pockets. And if you normally don't feel comfortable being out at night alone, you may want to visit Coimbra in the peak season when the daylight hours are longest. Whether on a day trip from Porto or staying overnight on way to Porto or Lisbon, the essentials to bring to Coimbra are a VPN service for data security, and portable Wi-Fi, or get a SIM card in Portugal, Use a solar travel charger while you're walking around for your devices, and of course wear comfortable walking shoes for the steep hills. Bring a water bottle, eco sunscreen for water activities, and a hat, especially during peak season, and a mono sling bag or a small backpack. If traveling during low season, bring an umbrella, and a light or rain jacket and dress in layers. Number seven, where to stay. Even though the Coimbra City Center is compact, you want to consider how best to access the majority of attractions, dining, shopping, and bus and train stations. Therefore, the lower elevation of the city near Coimbra A Station is the best place to stay, especially if you are only staying one night. For location, reasonable price, amenities, free cancellation, breakfast inclusion, high ratings, and a travel sustainable rating, a few of the hotels I would consider staying at are Hotel Oslo, Hotel Mondego, and Tivoli Coimbra. In fact, I stayed at Hotel Oslo on my last Coimbra visit. Right around the corner from Coimbra A Station, this hotel comes with a very friendly and helpful staff, comfortable rooms, an ample breakfast, and a bar and rooftop lounge area so you can enjoy a cocktail with a wonderful Coimbra view. Hotel Oslo is also Green Key certified and offers baggage storage for guests and non-guests alike. I highly recommend staying at Hotel Oslo. If you want to go the hostel route for either a private or dorm style room, try Change the World Hostels Al Medina. Eight top things to do. Coimbra holds some incredible historical and outdoor attractions, some of them free as well. Top of the list, of course, is Coimbra's UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Universidade de Coimbra, which houses the Palace of Schools and includes the Royal Palace of Akakova, the University Tower, Capella de São Miguel, and Biblioteca Joanina. More top things to see and do in Coimbra you won't want to miss are more. Don't forget to put these at a minimum on your Coimbra travel itinerary. And for more things to do in Coimbra, see my Coimbra travel guide online. The link is below. Coimbra's old town has other things to do beyond the historical. For artisanal shops, ceramics, and other local crafts, indoor and outdoor cafes and restaurants, explore the Praco Oito de Mayo, Praco do Comercio, and the Rua da Sofia and Rua Visconde da Luz pedestrian streets of the Old Town. And Coimbra has several fado venues and cafes as well. Popular is the Café de Santa Cruz, which offers two daily shows of fado performances at 6 and 10 p.m., but you do need to get there early for a seat. And with your nibbles, try the region's sparkling wine or a dry port spritzer after a long day of walking. They are delicious. Wander through the town, read the menus, or ask your hotel concierge or other local on their favorite dining recommendations in Coimbra. Keep in mind tipping in Portugal is not customary, but if you do, it's acceptable to tip 10 to 15%, or you can just round up a euro or two in cash. Number 10, budget tips. If you're traveling Coimbra on a budget, keep the following in mind. Visit in the shoulder or off-season months, and travel during the week, avoiding holidays and large events, a good deal on a budget hotel in the city center can cost approximately 60 euros a night if you book in advance. 
Depending on time of year, location, and amenities, a Coimbra hostel dorm room can start at 22 euros a night and a private room at 40 euros a night. And Portugal has second and first class train fares, but the second class fare is budget friendly. Just book in advance. Explore the outdoors and free attractions in Coimbra. And Phone and MEO offer weekly Wi-Fi hotspot service, so you can purchase a SIM card to save money. Travel Coimbra with your eco-friendly foot forward and the planet in mind using any of these easy travel tips that do make a difference. Take the train or bus to and from Coimbra instead of driving. If you need a car service in Coimbra, choose the Uber or Bolt Green options. If you use a tuk-tuk, make it electric. Or use the Coimbra public buses to see more around Coimbra. In addition to Booking.com's travel sustainable properties, Green Globe and Green Key Global also have eco-friendly certified lodgings. And on the plane, train, bus, dining, shopping, or on a food tour, reduce your plastic trash and your carbon footprint by bringing your own reusable travel bags, collapsible water bottle, a water bottle carry sling, and bamboo utensils. I hope you're still with me because here's some valuable travel tips just for Coimbra. In addition to covering for any emergencies, many Coimbra establishments will not accept credit cards. From gift shops to dining establishments, ask before making any purchase if they take credit cards. You need to get a timed entry ticket for the Biblioteca Joanina. Get your university tour tickets in advance during peak season, either online or at the university ticket office first thing when you arrive. It's around the corner from the new cathedral. If visiting for just a day, the Coimbra B train station has lockers on the main platform or check at Hotel Oslo to inquire about luggage storage for the day. The Museo Nacional Machado de Castro is closed on Mondays and national holidays. And San Miguel's Chapel may be closed to the public to conduct religious ceremonies, so check in advance. The best time to visit the university during peak season is first seen in the morning to avoid crowds and book tours early before they sell out and go during the week. Some of Portugal's first class train seats have power sockets, but make sure your seat does before you buy your ticket. And both first and second class trains have access to Wi-Fi, but do not expect it to be reliable. The water is safe to drink in Coimbra, and Coimbra can get a little hot and humid during the peak season months. Again, Coimbra's old town has steep walking paths and steps, so wear comfortable walking shoes. And many in Coimbra do speak English, but always leave a conversation in Portuguese. And if they speak English in return, that is a courtesy. So how much time should you spend in Coimbra? Coimbra is surrounded by beautiful countryside with mountains, coastline, and wineries nearby. Considering its location and what it has to offer, Coimbra is an ideal destination for a day or a long weekend. If you're in northern Portugal, it would be a shame not to put Coimbra on your itinerary, especially if you're traveling between Porto and Lisbon. Speaking of spending a day in Coimbra, do you want to know how to spend a fun-filled, stimulating day in Coimbra, either as a day trip from Porto or staying overnight? Well, check out my links below in the video description. You'll find my Coimbra one-day itinerary that takes out all the guesswork of what you can do. If you do wish to stay longer than a day and keep Coimbra as your home base to explore more of Portugal, check out these destinations, all within an hour or two from Coimbra, making for perfect day trips. These are easy to do and can enhance your Portugal travel experience. Go self-guided or as part of a tour. I have some day trip tour links below in the video description to get you started. Well, I really hope you liked this video on Coimbra, Portugal. If you found it useful for planning your trip, go ahead and subscribe. Click to stay notified for when the next videos are coming because there are more coming. And give this video a thumbs up. If you want more information on Coimbra and Portugal, don't forget to check out all the links I have for you below, as well as the suggested Coimbra one day itinerary, and watch these upcoming videos. All right, that's all I have for now. Thanks for joining and have a great time in Coimbra.